Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Apes vs Helium aka Bloons FPS made by a fellow YouTuber Cyan. Now this is an awesome fan made game so we'll get into it. I'm going to go to Ape Meadow and we'll start on medium because I've barely played this. So basically like the first round of Bloons we're, we're in the Ape Meadow uh, but we're in an FPS so I can throw darts. So let's start the wave. We must pop all Bloons and then we have 121 quid. So over to the shop we'll buy the quick shots upgrade. Start the next round and then spawn kill some bloons. Man, I feel powerful right now. All right, so we've got some blueies. We've got some big blues in here. And then there was one. Boosh. Let's give ourselves some sharp shots. Now, the next upgrade will be an upgrade tree. So we either go triple shot or we go crossbow. But for now, we're popping red balloons. Da -da -da -da, red balloons. 99 red balloons. Da -da -da. Oh, no, there's blue balloons. So the blue balloons are sort of like the kinder egg of a balloon. So if you pop that... A red one is inside, so we must also pop that as well. Yeah, I'm going to start the next round, so we're on round five. Let's spawn kill a few of these. Then we do have to move back because there's a lot of blueies. There's a lot of blueies. But they didn't last long, and we have 495 quid. Now, something I will need at some point soon. If we go into support, we've got the camo detection. I'm going to need another 105 quid to get that. Um, wait, are tax shooters free? No, they're 800 quid. Okay. Oh yeah, I think camo detection is probably going to be needed next. So we'll take all these guys out. We haven't had any other colors yet. Just, oh, there we go. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. We got green boys. So green obviously take an extra hit than the blues. But uh, thankfully, all good. I feel like camo balloons don't appear to like proper late on, like round 20, 24 or something. So I might just try and survive without that. Oh no, I just walked into a balloon. So if you walk into these, you lose a heart. It's not just them getting to the end as well. Anyway, what I really want to do is buy one of these, a banana tree. I need 1,250 quid, but then that will give me extra money every single round. And I love spending money. So this round we should get enough to unlock, but the balloons have got pretty hard. They're all green this round, I think. I think what I might do, I might stay here. There you go. All the greens, apart from one, are now blues. And then if I go over this way, we're lined up again. Because we do, we do pop through one or two balloons. So we've got to make the most of our piercing. Nice. So back to spawn killing. Is there like law as to why balloons and monkeys don't get on? Like, I don't understand the hate. It's not like architecture and engineers. It doesn't seem as natural of an enemy ship thing that they've grown. We are doing some beautiful killing here. Actually, is the is the end of the map behind me? No, it isn't. We got we got more map left. I think we should be fine though. Yes, we are. So first off, let's buy one of these. There is a tree. It's got bananas on. At the moment, it doesn't seem like I made the best investment. That's a lot of balloons. We've got to clear these greens from the front. And now we have 491 quid and the tree has finally dropped its fruit. So we'll pick those up and now we're up to 691. So over here, I think I'm going to give myself a crossbow. Oh yes, that is doing some major piercing damage. I think it one hit kills the greens, but we have yellows this time. Thankfully, no concern for me. All right, so this round seems nice and easy. I'm literally spawn killing. It's like I'm back in COD 4. Absolutely love it. Anyway, since I feel kind of overpowered, I'm going to upgrade my tree. So we go from just a standard banana tree to one with a lot more bananas on. And then after another round of popping balloons, we get six bananas and each one is worth 50 quid. So as we're just shy of a grand, I feel like we should probably upgrade that again because that is insane. Look at the size of that trunk now. It's a girthy boy. Anyway, blues are starting to push me back a bit. The yellows are pretty powerful. Oh, the pink is really fast. Come back it. Anyway, that's all of those done. And now there's eight or 400 quid. If you prefer your currency in quid rather than bananas. Let's get a banana plantation. We need three grand. So we only have one grand at the moment. And I know I need to get camo detection soon. But for now, we'll just keep crossbowing green balloons in the nuts. I mean, oh, we have hearts. We have regrow balloons. So these ones will heal if we don't kill them quick enough. Thankfully, we did kill them quick enough. So we'll grab all of this. Keep taking down the greens. And then after picking up all these fruit, we have the three grand that we need to upgrade this. So, boosh. Now we have four trees. So let's start the next round. All right, we've got, we've got some hearts. We've also got some pinks back there as well. Got to be careful. We've got to be careful here. And then, oh, look at our crop. That is a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> so well over a grand each each round now. Um, oh, and we've got, we've got blacks. They pop into double greens. Now, thankfully, that was very easy. So we'll pick up all these. And we've got two grand to play with. I feel like my first two grand, I'm going to get the sharpshooter. Basically, my crossbow now has a sight on it. 
Uh, so I can just stand at this end and I can pop them all at that end. Oh, I got a critical hit there as well. And now we've got 1,200 quid. Time to be sensible and get the camera detection. But first, we must pop lead balloons. And that was very easy. But I feel like that was just a taste of what is to come. So this one, we've got loads of blues to start with. Oh, and that was our first camo. Thankfully, we could see it because we got the camo detection. So round 24 is when camos appear. Uh, so this round, I imagine, are there going to be loads of camos? And this crossbow feels really overpowered, by the way. I'm, like, not even breaking a sweat. Ooh, zebra balloons. They're full of red balloons. Thankfully, it's still no match for us. And we are racking up the money. Still, doing all the work myself feels a bit architect-ish. So I'm going to hire a tax shooter to help me. And I think we'll shove that there in the middle. So now as these balloons come out, if I weren't spawn killing them, they'll come over to this where they completely surround my tax shooter and then get popped instantly. Nice. Now I will help out a bit just because I feel like that's probably what I should be doing. But it looks like it can easily cope with those going all the way around. With the blues going around, that could be a different story. So I'm going to help out and fire down this line. Oh man, this is actually quite a lot of balloons. I can see, I think there's greens behind these blues. Yep, there they are. There they are. Oh, and at the end, I can see yellows. There are yellows as well. Oh, look, some have escaped. Some have escaped. So we just got to make sure these don't get past us because we are the only form of defense between us and the end of the level now. Give me those bananas. So we go again. Lead balloons. Oh, they're filled with yellows. That is a little bit scary. But uh, no match, really. All right, can you save the day, tax shooter? There's just one balloon left. Get it. Get Oh, you missed it. <laughs> you silly sausage. Anyway, boosh, that's that gone. Give me those bananas. And we're up to 10 grand. Now, I know I can upgrade this for 17 grand. I can also become a crossbow master for 25 grand. Yeah, but it might be worth giving my tax shooter some more tax. So we'll do that. That's only a grand. And look, plenty more holes to shoot tax out of. So hopefully, it'll be a bit more used to me. Yeah, that seems much better, actually. Although the regrows are getting big, I had to step in. Oh, well, this level's gone a bit bad. This level's gone a little bit bad. It's all down to me now. Thankfully, I've just about got it under control. That was actually close, though. I think you need more tack holes. So I've given it fast shooting. I'm going to give it a tack sprayer as well. Oh, yes, it's multi-story now. And look, we've got loads of camo balloons, which thankfully we can see. Which means easy round, easy bananas, and an easy four grand spent on overdrive. So now we'll see. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of tax. That is a lot of tax. I might not even have to do anything this time. That would be nice. I can just rest over by my banana trees, knowing I made a good purchase. Yeah, this is this is really easy money. Those balloons are not getting anywhere fast. Although there are zebra ones. How will they cope? Not very well. Right, so this time we've got some rainbow balloons and they are turning into a massive clump. Thankfully, Tax Shooter has literally no trouble with that. So we'll start another round. I'm actually going to help out this time. And I really, I want to save up 17 grand so I can upgrade my banana farms. You can never have too many bananas. Ooh, camo regrows. So if they don't get taken out soon, they will increase. But thankfully, <laughs> oh, you are an absolute beast. Fair play, mate. Oh, wow. I think that was a ceramic balloon. So that took a lot to take down. Sort of worryingly so, actually. Like, these balloons, they're sort of getting round. Uh, we need to be careful. Because generally, if you see one on its own, that's like a sign of what's to come. So if we if we start this round, there is the potential to see lots of ceramics, which could hurt us. You can see at the back, there's a load, a load of rainbow balloons. It doesn't look like there's any ceramics. So I think we are safe this time. Uh, attack shooter pretty much dealing with them. Am I going to have to do anything? Nah, good work. Good work. And look, we're finally up to 17 grand. Which means I can get super bananas. Boosh. Ooh, look, they're all bluey. That means they're super ripe. Right, okay, we have a Moab. We have a Moab. It is a beast. Take it down, attack shooter. All right, and those ceramics inside. Uh, but thankfully, Tax Shooter doing a reasonable good job at thinning the herd. All right, and what will our super bananas give us? We're on 700 at the moment. So if we pick up all of these, 3,900 in one round. So we go again. And since my Tax Shooter performed so well, I'm going to try and give him the day off today. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're getting closer. They're getting closer. Help me, Tax. Help me, Tax. Help me. <laughs> oh, man. They just keep on coming. It's a horde of zebra. Zebra. Zebra or zebra? I think I say zebra. Anyway, give me another three and a half grand, please. 
Thank you very much. Right, again, we're getting a little bit swamped, actually. Although, thankfully, that wasn't a very long queue of balloons. We got 1,300 quid. It could be worth getting like a little, I don't know, like a monkey ace. So now when we start, there's that guy flying around. And yeah, he shoots every so often. So that could help us. Uh, mostly because it will shoot everywhere. So once these balloons get past the tack shooter, which I won't lie, it doesn't happen too often. But uh, we have the plane shooting now. So it's not just down to me. I do still have some support. By the way, look how fast he flies. <laughs> it's so fast. It's making me dizzy. Anyway, another round. Round 44. Uh, feeling pretty good, if I'm honest. Although I am tempted to change class. Like, the crossbow is good and all. Like, I could have a minigun. So, I've sold my crossbow. I'm going to get the, the minigun. Give myself focus firing. As well as making my barrel spin faster. And powerful darts. I think I'm going to need all of those to start with. So, oh, wow. Look at this thing. <laughs> Boosh. Yes, right. Okay, let's start the round. Eat minigun. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> Now I'm back to spawn killing again. Just how I like it. Die. Oh man, look how fast my money's going up. This is glorious. All right, that was actually a really, really long round. And they are getting close to me now. I better step back. Die, get back, get back. <laughs> right, we need the tax shooter. We need the tax shooter. God. Oh God, there's so many bloods. All right, thankfully, we have just about cleared the level. So we'll grab the super bananas. And we're up to 25 grand. So, what do we go for? Laser cannon, hydro rocket pods, or the buckshot? I mean, the rocket pods are the most expensive. But then the next one, the plasma accelerator is the most expensive. Because do I really want to level up to a bad gun? All right, well, let's do the rockets just because I'm most intrigued by those. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's go. Eat that ceramic balloons. Oh. How does it shoot so fast? What? That is insane. And I, I got the money to straight away level up again. So let's go for the rocket storm. And if the last one wasn't a rocket storm. Oh, wow. Okay, let's give this a go. This is absolutely brutal. I mean, not for myself. Mainly for the balloons. So yeah, even when the big boys come at the end of the round, we're still pretty much pushing back. Yeah, I didn't have to move at all there. Kind of intrigued to try one of the other paths. It's going to cost a fair bit though. I only get 19 grand back. So perhaps I'll do one more round first. Oh man, they really are getting spawn killed. <laughs> oh, I feel so powerful. We are up to 22 grand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap out, I think. And uh, let's give the buckshot a go. Um, since I got 35 grand, I think I'm going to upgrade my little plane thing. And maybe make my tax shooter better. Because we're going to enter the tax zone. So, oh my goodness, look at the number of holes on that. So, this is the buckshot one. Oh, it's, oh, it's very slow shooting. It is very slow shooting. I'll tell you what. Do I have money to upgrade this? Oh, I need 20 grand. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be dangerous. This is round 50. Oh, and they're just red balloons. I'm not scared of red balloons. Oh, no. What are they? What are they? <laughs> run away. Run away. Right, tack shooter. I definitely need your help. Thank you. Oh, there's a Moab. There is a Moab. Take the Moab down. Phew. Okay, tax sheets are coming in clutch there. Yeah, I need to get to 20 grand so I can upgrade this thing. We haven't managed it this time. We have to do another round with this thing. It's so slow shooting. I want the infinite rockets back. Thankfully, that round was easy so we can get those. We have enough. So let's get a bad gun. This is probably a bad idea. It's like an automatic shotgun. Look how fast it's shooting. I mean, oh no, that's a lot of Moabs. I feel like the rockets were probably better. But uh, they got mullered. All right, just out of interest, when these balloons, like, they go around all the paths and stuff, where do they end up? They go this way. And where is that? Like, the ass crack of the level. Why are we trying to protect that? I thought it would at least be, like, I don't know, some sort of ancient monument or shrine or something. Anyway, I won't ask questions. I will protect the ass crack of the mountain. So die, balloons. That's a lot of Moabs. Thankfully, mullered them with my shotgun. Whoever came up with the name really needs to work on their marketing skills. So we're on round 54 and absolutely mullering. Although lots of ceramics, the tax shoes get involved. There's a Moab at the back as well. But yeah, I'm liking this. Anyway, I'm going to grab the, the hero. I think his name's Churchill. So where is he? There he is. There he is. Get involved, mate. Plenty of balloons to go around. Yes, look at us mullering everyone. Do you follow me at all? Oh, he does follow me. Interesting. So come this way, Mr. Monkey Tank. I'm going to show you exactly how to spawn kill. All right, ready? I think he says he's ready. Boosh. 
Oh no, he's getting bullied by him. <laughs> I mean, thankfully that doesn't hurt me at all. So I'm just going to stay this way facing the other direction. Ow, ow, that did hurt me. Ow, <laughs> knocked me off my feet, that did. Yeah, we're up to 30 grand. What other upgrades can we get? A spectra for the sky. So we're, oh my goodness, look at the size of that thing. It is huge. You know, I'm going to spawn kill from this side. The other side wasn't the safest place to be. Um, do I actually need to do anything? I feel like these guys have it under control. Particularly you. It's like an AC-130 just mullering everything. Anyway, Mr. Tank Man, we can give you a machine gun and armor-piercing shells. And then hopefully you'll do even more damage. Yeah, that's it. That way. Don't point at me. Yeah, look at the machine gun on there. Man, he looks so angry. <laughs> I see the fire in his eyes. Um, I'm quite enjoying not having to do anything, though. This is quite quite handy. All right, so our last bananas are here. I got 13 grand. I'll tell you what. As a sign of faith, I'm going to sell my minigun. So we got 32 grand now. I'm then going to invest all of that into my hero. So he's got Moab Barrage and he has large caliber ammo. Now, he's not quite a battle tank, so he could be better. But uh, there's always room for improvement, isn't there? Anyway... We'll send him down this way. There we go. And then we'll start the round. And oh my goodness, that is huge. I don't know why I'm throwing darts at it. I'm not really going to help, am I? And it's a victory. So what did we learn today? Combining a minigun with a shotgun is massively overpowered. And I'm completely okay with that. So on that note, peace, love, and victories. Bye, guys.